her to begin with. So we'll do a put a cleft craft on that spot. And then this main trunk, we'll try and take it down pretty far and maybe do a couple of side grafts on it. It'll come down all the way to here. Okay, so on this one, side graft is where you're just taking a horseshoe out of the side and and what that is is find a nice smooth part of the tree that you're going to slice into and just make a, a an opening. So this is you only get one shot at this. There's one disadvantage, but um, it's one clean cut. So I'll start at the top, make a horseshoe down, and then you're just into the cambium. Okay, so there I've got a flap, and you can see the green, and so that's the flap that the scion's now going to go in. So now I take a piece of uh, Use this piece of the cyan wood. So I picked a kind of a medium sized piece. So now we'll make a cut much like we did on the cleft craft a second ago. And, and then the other side, and one more. And we've got a nice, um, that's pretty straight. I'll keep it. Okay, now on this, it's a horseshoe. So we've got a horseshoe on the flap, and then I've got a horseshoe on the scion, and I want to lap them. I'm, I want to go down far enough that I've covered the horseshoe on the scion, and about like that. Now I've, I've got this flap, and I've got cells connecting with cells, and the same with the tree, the understock on the inside. So now with the bigger tape, we'll tape all that together, and that should work out fine. So now we need, it's pretty big, so we'll need a couple feet of this stuff for this. And then tape this. Starting from the bottom. Now, if I wanted to, and, and we could, we could cover this with this tape and not use the beeswax. So I think we should use beeswax. It's enough of a a cut there, we're going to use beeswax. So. so there we've got a side graft and, and you can put two side grafts. In this spot I could have put one on this side and one on this side and then tied them all together. One is all I really wanted here. Okay, so we'll go heat up some beeswax and come back and then we'll, uh, we'll wax this over. Let's go ahead and do um, uh, another cleft uh, on this one. So I've got a side cleft graph here. We'll put a cleft graph here and, and a whip in the back back here. So we'll start with this cleft. And on this one I could put one on both sides. I think I'll put one on this side. That's kind of where I need something. So I could almost use a hammer. This is starting to get a little bit big for this knife without a hammer, but a little bit of pressure. Yeah, it's working its way down. So again, nice, straight down. Try and get that cut to be nice and straight. So I want to split this enough, I'll be able to get that the scion in as soon as I cut it. So it's pretty well split. Pull this back out. Now I'm going to um, line it up on this side. So we'll take uh, the smaller of the two. We'll use this one on this width graph. Okay. So here I want to cut. Actually, it's pretty good. So just nice straight cut. And we'll pry this open from this side. Put this in and slide it down. Okay, let me check the side. Looks good. Go a little bit lower. Could use a screwdriver here sometimes to pry these open better than your knife, but the knife works. Okay, so now the large diameter tape. And 
tie it. Now I've split it pretty far down, so I want to tie it, use the tape from pretty far down to really protect any moisture from getting into this cut. So I'm going to leave the top open and exposed because we're going to um, put some beeswax on the top and seal this off from moisture getting in with, with beeswax. So round around and then tie it off and so everything was nice and tight so this whole thing is good and tight. So now we'll back up to this one right here on, and we'll put a whip craft on it. This scion's a tiny bit smaller but they're close enough. So. Your wax is entirely melted. Oh, good. So, yeah, you can probably turn it off because we'll be using it in one second. We'll be adding it here. Okay, so nice, even cut. That one's beautiful. Get the same angle here. Pretty good. Looks nice. Okay, so now just at center or just above center. Cut in and crack this open. And so now the whole thing's just moving. Same on this one. And you're headed towards your finger, so super careful not to go too far on this one. Your fingers are right there. Now let's push these two together. So, and then we'll back it up. Get these lined up really nice. Okay, so now the small tape or the big tape on this one. Here's the big one. And tie it. And then we'll go on to putting some beeswax on these other ones. So we've got, looks like, well, just two for beeswax, so that's good. Okay, tie this nice. And that through. So we've got beeswax that I have heated on a little propane outdoor stove. And so it's nice and hot and it solidifies pretty quickly. So what I want to do is get some to dribble into this crevice. And I'll come back to it. I'll do this other one and then I'll come back to this after it's melted and then solidified and ultimately I want that top crevice to be completely full. So on the side graft, same idea, and I've got two little crevices, one on each side of the scion, and so I want that to get full. So the top also one nice layer, but it's these crevices where the water is going to get held up that is the issue. So I've got enough wax in there now, even if there was some water in there, it probably wouldn't get to the, the apple wood. And it, Yeah, so now I've got it filled up. Come back one more time in another second after it's solidified, and then we're done. So I've got a second coat on the cover of this. And now i filled up both of these little spots on the side. This one's solidified pretty good, and I think, well, one more time, we'll call it good. And now if this cracks and I come back tomorrow and put one more layer on it, that wouldn't be a bad idea to just check it. But I've had pretty good luck with uh, even no wax on apples. Apples are pretty easy to graft. I can go in, it wouldn't hurt to have a little bit of wax right on the tips of these grafts. Trees have done the growth they're going to do. I'm going to clean up some of this low stuff that um, I've got enough growth up above. I don't need any of these limbs down below that are the rootstock of the tree. So I'll get rid of those. Um, then we'll get up to the grafts. And so pretty much I think they all took. I did uh, six trees in this row and, and it seems like everything took. So no problems with having plenty of choice. Here I've got, even though it's on the graft, it's interior. I'm going to take it out because I still want to shape the whole tree. Um, so now I've gotten rid of what I want to underneath. And so then we'll clean up the grafts next. And the way to do that is I can take this tape off now. I could actually, I've got these nurse limbs down low. I could probably get rid of those too unless I want to graft to them again. But I think I've got one, two, three, four. I've got enough, I think, um, that I'm going to get rid of these nurse limbs also. 
Okay, so now we've got three graphs for this, for this moment that I'll clean up. So I'll just take a pocket knife or a good sharp knife and we'll gently cut this tape off. You can see where the, uh, the beeswax is still held all through the summer. Um, I haven't had so much push that this tape has girdled anything yet. You can see where we've now filled in and this is healed. Um, the whole thing kind of got squished and this beeswax got pushed out of the crevice that was behind here. So I'll go ahead and I'll cut all of these tapes off now so that there won't be any girdling in the future from this tape um, still being on. And so you want to not go too deep that you're making a serious cut into your tree, but a little bit of a cut doesn't seem to hurt anything. So everything's healed up pretty good. Here's a side graft on this back one. And so we'll cut it off. Maybe we can see that side graft a little better. And voila. And so now I still can prune a little bit more off of these, uh, these branches and kind of get them shaped. But they're pretty close. Got a nurse limb under here. I think I'm going to just cut that shorter and, and maybe plan on grafting it next spring. But now it's kind of set. <laughs>